Hello. In this tutorial, we will. This is a series in which we will learn Drupal 8 for Drupal 7 developers. So, if you are a Drupal 7 developer, I think you might find this series useful. So, first, we will assume that you have a virtual machine uh, or some kind of a Linux box. And uh, it could be a VM running on your laptop or it could be a VM in the cloud. Okay. So, assuming that, um, plus also assuming that you have either Apache or Nginx uh, configuration working for Drupal 7. So, let's start a new terminal. And, uh, and I have a server in the cloud. So, I'm just going to log into that server. This server already has working Nginx and PHP and all that. So, first order of business is to download Drupal 8. But before that, I have to download Drush. So, if I, I like to do all my work in this dev directory, I'm going to download Drush. Remember, you need the late, latest version of Drush. So, let's uh, start a browser and yeah, so here I'm going to go to Drush org and rush.org has uh, install instructions and just follow these install instructions so let's do that copy each of these commands it asks you to download rush.far got that then it asks you to run rush.far with core status let's do that good remember look this is the version of rush 802 currently you need the latest version then make dress.far executable then finally as root you copy drush.far into you rename move drush.far into user local bin drush okay so with this you have you can now just run drush and it will be drush status and now you have the latest version of Drush. That is important. You need Drush 8. Okay. With this, let's start Drush DL and then download Drupal. I can just say Drupal or I can say Drupal 8. So I'll say Drupal 8 because I sometimes still ne need to work with Drupal 7. All right. So Drupal 8 has been downloaded. And keep in mind it's a larger downloads if I do du minus sh and Drupal 8 it's 93 megabyte download so first thing I do is I usually rename my Drupal 8.0.2 or whatever the long name might be to a shorter name Drupal dash 8 the reason why I do that is because I don't want to keep minor version and the patch version in the path for Drupal 8 once you do this you need an Nginx configuration that will allow you to target this directory your if you go cd into drupal 8 you see you see the drupal files cd to sites and you see other things like default you will notice there is no sites all and i will talk about that in a second uh, first i want to configure nginx so we go back to the browser and search for Drupal 8 Nginx. Okay. So when you click Drupal 8 Nginx, you find the very first link is the Drupal 8 Nginx configuration link from GitHub. So this is the one where it has a complete server configuration. So that's what we will use. Let's just copy. Um, actually we can just use this let's let's do that okay so from here to here I or I could just hold on I can just click raw and I got the full thing so copy it from beginning to end copy and now back in my server first I have to become root so sudo minus I and then CD and etc nginx sites enabled and 
now I will create I will create a new new server configuration file so let me just say cat and send this to Drupal 8 and then I simply paste after that I press ctrl D to end the input I can now edit Drupal 8 listen on port 80 yes but the key thing is to change this server name the server name that I'm going to change it to it will be uh, d8.servers6.inspire.com also star.d8.servers6.inspire.com okay and then the root is obviously going to change it's going to be home dash dev drupal dash 8 okay save and quit service nginx reload oops it didn't work so let's see why that didn't work so if i do less error log dot log so there is something called micro cache fast key cj caching i'm going to turn off caching i don't want to cache anything let's just open drupal 8 again look for micro cache okay yeah this one just disable disable this caching i don't think at this point i want to do any caching save it and let's see if i reload okay so that works uh, now back on my browser I can just say uh, d8.server6.spinspire.com and voila we have Drupal 8 uh, this is going to walk me through the installation process so let's just click through this save and continue it says uh, installation profile standard yes let's use standard and now it's going to complain about a few things one is that it cannot write to my file system uh, which is the web server cannot and secondly there is no settings file let's fix both the problems um, I s first I exit from being root and I am back in my sites directory cd to default it is trying to install here so I will make directory files and that now is still owned by me Jitesh so I have to make it owned by so ch own um, recursive www data colon www data files now I have to do that as sudo okay so what happens is now this files directory exists and it's owned by www data very good next thing I have to do is I have to copy default.settings.php into default. Uh, or just settings.php and also uh, default. Default dot services dot yaml into default just services dot yaml. Okay. All right. So the settings dot php is the one that we need to make writable by the web server. So for a moment, I am just going to make everybody can write to my settings dot php. Generally, this is not safe, but I am going to leave it. Uh, like that only for a few minutes okay All right with this I can now say try again and it seems to like it I have to give it a database name username password etc so I'm going to um, type first time I need to create a database so let me create a database create database and dev jitesh d8 default grant all on 
dev jitesh d8 default dot star to jitesh at local host okay so now when jitesh runs my sql and looks at databases he has the dev jitesh d8 default so i'm going to use this database and then the username will be hold on what is the username the username all right so now i have created the database i put my database name username and password in here save and continue and that should start the installation process So this is going through installation of uh, uh, you know 40 odd modules. Great, and it's we are almost there. All right, we are in the last leg. Uh, okay. Okay. Email address. Username admin. And let's just put whatever password we'd like to put. So this part should be familiar to people who are Drupal Seven developers. Save and continue. And at this point, we have a Drupal 8 site. All right, in the so we will stop here. And after this, oh, before we finish, we should remove the right permissions. So chmod um, for zero zero on settings.php. So now this warning should go away oops we already have installed it so one thing we should uh, okay so let's go back to our site and hmm, why is it once again trying to install let's see <laughs> files is not settings file is not readable and oh because it's not readable ah so let's make it readable. Mod, mm. okay, so now it's readable. If that should okay, so we are back to our site. Uh, I think this is the point at which we should stop, and in the next one, we will explore the user interface of Drupal 8. Thank you.